and it seems to me, um, you know, between the time of those disasters and now, nuclear power has become more acceptable. It's viewed now in a more positive light as a clean energy source. I think the fundamental reason is the existential threat that we're facing right now as a humanity of global climate change and um, the battle with the hydrocarbon sources of energy. But, but it certainly must be the case, you know, between those disasters, um, you know, and today, uh, um, safety, I'm, I'm assuming safety has improved, but maybe safety's been there all along and we just haven't really appreciated it, right? I want to point out that there's a difference between safety and um, proliferation, right? So safety is related to how well can you run the reactor safe, meaning not affecting the public health or the reactor health. Uh, Chernobyl design was not light water reactor based. It was designed with a dual purpose in mind to produce clean plutonium for weapons program and generate electricity for civilian program. That reactor from a safety standpoint was very different. It, has, uh, it had what we call positive reactivity coefficient. What that means is as the reactor gets hotter and hotter, the neutrons that you produce, the reactions, um, the main driver of the reaction, becomes more and more intense. So instead of shutting down because it's getting hotter and less safe, it actually instigates the further reactions. Light water reactors here in the United States operate on a different principle. What happens uh, when you heat up the water? It expands because its temperature goes up, its density goes down. In when the density goes down, the neutrons don't become as active. So you actually shut down the reactor as you're getting it hotter. We designed those systems with such safety coefficient in mind. I, I think it's safe to say that nuclear reactors have one of the safest records among many industries in the States.